Hi there, this is Anna and Derek from Happy Karma Homes. Uh, hi Derek. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, apologies for in advance for um, the relaxed nature of this video. We were actually right in the middle of um, our baby is about to wake up from a nap and we're also in the middle of putting up Christmas decorations and lights. So, um, sorry about We're trying that. to get that done before Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, but um, we understand there's um, there are several questions about uh, the finishes of 40... 604 Frontier 40, Trail. 4604 Frontier Trail. Um, and so we wanted to go ahead and address those and then we can um, send over the slide presentation and also um, ask uh, answer more questions later and go go deeper into the finishes. But um, most importantly, we want to under um, explain what the genesis of the of the design for the house was. So when you walk into the house, immediately you're in the dining room, which opens up onto a cocktail lounge and kitchen, breakfast room, beautiful stone fireplace, and and huge wall. And then over on the right corner. Um, is a beautiful turquoise blue pool and um, well, all windows, all windows, windows and doors mm -hmm. uh, and overlooking the pool. Yeah. So um, the the inspiration is really mid century modern with a lot of a Mediterranean kind of influence, even a bit Moroccan. Um, so we're looking at kind of a, a, a cobalt blue to navy kitchen. Um, we're using reclaimed brick from the outside of the house as the backsplash in the kitchen. You're going to see a picture of that in just a minute. Um, light hardwood floors, but really kind of a honey, warm, um, light hardwood floor. We, While this is a, a renovated home from 1960, yeah. 1960 um, we don't want it to look like every other home that's been remodeled. So um, there's a lot of... Um, cohesiveness that I've that I don't find in other homes and that like warm um, the warmth of the floor is really important so we're gonna end with that picture but let me get you over to um, really the the design inspiration for the let house. Just, let me just adjust here. Uh, okay. Yeah yeah okay good so you can see this um, is our high tech version. <laughs> it's here. not high tech at all sorry about that. Um, so you can see this is the the brick wall, um, not the brick wall, the stone wall and fireplace that you're gonna see um, right when you walk in the door. It goes to the back of the house. But so I just let me just interrupt real quick too. So what Anna said is when you walk in, your eyes immediately taken through the house, um, past the dining room, through the kitchen out to the back where you see this fireplace on the left side and on the right side mm -hmm. you see exactly the way the pool, that it is the pool area. Yeah. So. It really leads your eye, you know, through the house. Mm -hmm. um, these, these, this, this brick wall, the the pool mm -hmm. draws you through. So we really wanted to capture as much of the color from these items throughout the house. Exactly. House. Yeah. So um, it carries through to the hall, back to the hall bath, to the ensuite and the former master, and then through to the master ensuite. You're gonna talk about this. A little I am bit. gonna talk about this. So when we bought this house, I, I. I had just gone to Greece. Um, my family is originally from Greece, but I had just been to this island. This is actually a picture that I took. Um, and when I walked into the house, that's exactly how it felt. So kind of um, the the blues, the the sunset colors, but then that that earthiness, um, and then the landscaping will do throughout. So so that will be there as well. So then that's a big rosemary bush, I think. Um, so can you change the? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Can we? In a second. <laughs> okay. This is... Just a, uh, should be in slide view. It's... Oh, there okay, we go. Okay, there we go. You have to use the old okay. fashioned arrows. Okay, so here we have the kitchen. Um, so this is going to be the backsplash. We're cutting the bricks down. Um, this is a bit dark. This is the original brick on the house. Yeah, original brick. The, um, this won't be the color of the house, but this was the color of the house. Um, but because we've taken out the terracotta floors um, that were in the back, um, we are keeping that kind of earthiness to it. Now this right here, I'm obsessed with. This is the huge kitchen island. Quartz. Um, quartz, and then this is gonna be that stone fireplace that's already there. But you can see we've we've taken out the terracotta floors and we've put it in the backsplash if, instead. If you, just real quick, if you look in the, if you look in the brick here, um, the stone, mm -hmm. you can see these colors, you mm -hmm. can see the grays, you can see yeah. even, even some blue mm -hmm. kind of in there very yeah. mildly. And then also this terracotta from the brick. So we put a lot of effort into pulling this together so that it all it tells a story. Absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, so it really like lands the house and has it feel um, like that kind of earthy earthiness that I think mid-century lends itself to. Yeah. And then this is the color of the kitchen. It's a bit dark. I don't think it's the best picture, but it'll be um, like a like a dark blue into navy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. Now going into the master bath. Yes. So we wanted the master bath to be an oasis. Um, so very much that kind of like spa experience, um, very soothing, very calming. You're going to have a door off the master bedroom um, onto the pool. So um, you, you also have two huge windows, a huge window um, by the shower and then also by the bath. So you can see here there's a bath that's attached to yeah, this the... is not the actual bath but it's you can see the sorry to interrupt but you can see the bathtub here with the with the shower right mm -hmm. next to it yeah and this is what we're doing on the house mm -hmm. uh, except over our bath we have a four by four window to let a ton of light into exactly the bath. and then we'll do vegetation so that you have complete privacy and this gorgeous I'm, yes. hand, I'm opposite here but this gorgeous <laughs> blue sea i don't know what you call that kind of sea foam blue sea green, green, but, green yeah um and then one of the things that you'll see throughout, it, it was really important to us that we didn't have, you know, painted cabinets. We have yeah. custom cabinets throughout, um, but, but, but they're walnut. We're doing, uh, well, so the kitchen are painted, but in, in the here. bathrooms, they're, um, they're walnut, custom walnut cabinets. And we really wanted to capture that mid-century modern vibe. Um, so we've, we've custom designed our cabinets. We've using, um, you know, this, this white with a tiny, 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 just smidge of, of gray veining um, on the floors, carried up to the, on the side of the tub. And then this blue green, gorgeous blue green um, is the, um, is the, uh, the, the accent wall above the, with the shower, the tub. And I think we're probably gonna end up doing it on the opposite side above the vanity too. Um, with, with gold, uh, brush gold fixtures. I think it's going to be really stunning. Um, oh, we've got a baby now. Um, okay. So coming in here, we've got the hall bath and you'll see some of these color patterns repeat. Cause again, for us, we, it's really important that we have consistency throughout. Mm -hmm. Um, and so what we're doing here is this really beautiful tile in the bottom here. Mm -hmm. This, um, again, That's similar gonna be the color. Floor. that will be the floor. Yeah. Um, and then the, the gray with a very slight variation in the grout will do as the uh, backsplash in the tub. Mm -hmm. um, again, we have a walnut custom cabinet here. We're not doing a, um, the sink, the sink won't, be be counter, won't be counter mounted. Um, yeah. it, it just gives it a weird height and mm -hmm. we don't really care for that. White quartz cabinets with an undermount sink, uh, black fixtures. Um, again, a really, I think a very peaceful, yeah. Uh, contemporary, but yet not not like every other house. Yeah. Um, kind of a feel. Yeah. Um, and then we also have in here um, the third bath, which is an ensuite off of the the um, the rear one of the rear bedrooms. The former master. We've actually added a new whole master suite, but this is the former master. Mm -hmm. And this one has like a um, three a and really a half by shower. six foot shower. Yeah. Uh, huge shower. But we went a little moodier with the shower. So we did like a deeper um, kind of turquoisey mm -hmm. tile yeah. um, because it is a big space, but we wanted it to be, we felt like it would be great for a guest or if you have a very moody teenager. <laughs> nice. And again, custom walnut cabinets. Yeah. Uh, they're all slightly different, right? Yeah. I, they're not going to be the same shade or the same design. But um, in the same family. That's yeah. really important yeah. to us. You're not mm -hmm. going to have anything feel disjointed in this house. Yeah. Um, and th so those are the bathrooms with all the tile selections, kitchen and all that sort of thing. And then this is the picture that we kind of Anna spoke to at the beginning, which is yeah. the, the floors. Um, you know, how did the floors and, you know, this sort of a space, it's a big open floor uh, mm -hmm. concept. So this is not the house, by the way. This is just a, a stock photo of these particular floors installed. Um, but you can see, you know, when you have a big open space, which is what we have, these floors are a great color. Um, they're not white. There's a little bit of richness to them and mm -hmm. a bit of honey color, but not not too piney. I'm yeah. not sure that's a word, but um, <laughs> we wanted to keep it light, but not, but give it you know we don't want that it whitewashed. That yeah, warmth gives us some yeah. warmth. Mm -hmm. So that's a quick um, quick rundown of our Close selections. Okay, closing. The so Oops. so we will um, send this over. I'll send Here's it over. Jack. Hey, Jack. Oh, the outside of the house, by the way, is going to be yes. um, an ivory that, color. It's already, we actually love that, that pink terracotta color, but the previous owners painted it kind of a greenish um, color mm -hmm. and it needs to be repainted. So we can't really get back to the original, unfortunately, but we're going to paint it this really great, 
I wouldn't call it white. It's going to be a bit of a cream color, mm -hmm. so kind of with in between, trim. yeah, in between white and cream, I think. Yeah. Uh, with black trim, black roof, um, a 30, 30 year dimensional shingle roof. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the windows are black on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. All new windows. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll just want to speak because Christy asked me to speak a little bit to some of the upgrades that we Ooh. did. We have all new sewer. Um, this is, these old houses have often, I'm not sure how it is in California, but here you often have cast iron and by, at this age, they're totally shot. Um, we have all new plumbing, um, mm -hmm. all but no, no cast iron left in the house. Mm -hmm. Um, we have an entirely new HVAC system, a five ton, um, uh, two stage, which basically means it's more efficient, um, because it doesn't have to come on and off. It kind of keeps a part of the motor running all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, all new duct work. Um, mm -hmm. so that was really important that we had very old duct and we, it was the insulation around it needed to be redone. And so we just elected to completely overhaul the HVAC system. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. All new, we have a tankless water here. We have new uh, fresh water lines coming into the house within the last, two, I think, two years, actually. The previous mm -hmm. owners did those and did a great job. Um, also, I pool's been resurfaced. The patio has been resurfaced. Yes. I mean, it's a new house. It's a um, new and house in the, a 1960 frame. And um, we're really proud of it. And, and there will be landscaping. Um, we haven't gotten to it because we had to do more with the plumbing than we anticipated. Yeah. And they sure did always the last thing rip up the ground. But we'll definitely um, have tons of landscaping. Um, the previous owners were um, had some really beautiful fruit they trees. Still and, they still do. Yeah, and they're yeah. still there. So we just, we've just we been watering them. And they may not look as good in December, them. but they'll look stunning in the spring and the fall. so Or spring and the summer. So. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, that's, I think that's it for now. Um, I'm sure we'll have more of these and we're available for Zoom and, and you know, mm -hmm. any, if any questions you have, we'd be happy to chat. Okay. Bye. And I'm sorry for my big finger. <laughs>